afternoon and welcome to Sports Talk at the Sports Desk. I am John Holden. I'm Danny Kerwin. John, we've got four episodes left. Four episodes. I mean, I'm kind of, it's kind of sad to see, but uh, I I'm sure. You know, last night. You did? I was thinking about you and us and we've got four left. I mean, I wasn't crying, but I was kind of like, hey, you know, it's, okay. it's kind of sad. That's fine. You know, I'm sure the last four will be just as great as, you know, every single one. Yeah, but uh, speaking of last four, we're actually going to go ahead and expand that to seven. The last seven games the Royals have played, they have lost. I am so pissed about that. Like, they just, they keep hitting, they get, they get hits. They get hits, and they can't drive any, anybody in. Well, what frustrates me is the series that we had against the Indians, we're scoring seven, eight, nine runs a game, mm -hmm. but we're giving up 10, 12, 13. Then we play Detroit, we're only giving up two, three, or four, but we're scoring one, two, and three. It's like when we can pitch, we don't hit, and when we hit, we can't pitch. It, and it's funny because we, we're kind of upset, you know, you know, we're all shocked, and if anyone outside of Kansas City would read those stats, it'd be like, that's amazing. But the thing is, you don't live in Kansas City, and this happens every single year. Every year we blow it, and it makes you so mad. We have a great kind of first start, first jump, and then the last month is great, and then everything in between is just garbage. It makes you want to cry. Trash. This is awful. Yeah. And the worst thing about the Kansas City Royals is Rex Hudler announces the Kansas City Royals. That's true. He, he is, could be the, He's such an idiot. He's quite quite awful. I think you and I could both take that job and he, uh, not the like, I've never heard bit. of a jam witch before in my life. Like he's such like he just says the most obvious things. Like yeah, man, batters really love fastballs. Okay. Like thanks for that. He's, yeah, he's, Rex. It's not really <laughs> all there. I don't think. He's, he's an idiot. Anywho, the Royals, they have a four-game series starting tonight with Toronto. Uh, get out to Kaufman, support our boys in blue. I'm not going, but John It's a staff night or something like that, staff and family night. It is. Yeah, I was going to go, but my mom bailed. So same with, same with Pops. Yeah. Well, anyway. <laughs> Anywho, the other team in Kansas City, instead of losing seven in a row, has now won seven in a row. And although soccer isn't as popular as the Royals are in town, Sporting KC's really making some noise, aren't they, John? I, you know, I'm really excited for them. It's kind of cool to watch them play and watch them win, especially because they're in Kansas City and no team wins in Kansas City. So it's nice to see a good team winning in Kansas City. Uh, I like to see the fact that uh, I haven't been to a game yet. The stadium's really nice. I feel like that new stadium really kind of brought everyone together. And I was like, yeah, something to root for. Because, I mean, everyone, the Wizards were okay when they were the Wizards back in the day, but no one really, you know, they didn't really care too much. But when they built a new stadium design and stuff, yeah, I uh, I think that uh, they finally found a way to win some games. Last year they started off slow and started winning a lot more. Now they've got this great streak going, and uh, hopefully they can keep it going, make it their way to the playoffs, number one seed in the East again. Who knows, maybe they can bring home the MLS Cup. I, it'd be kind of sweet to see. I mean, last year they blew it, but I, mean, I don't know. I don't really, I don't, I don't really follow it too much, honestly, until the last couple of games. So I couldn't really tell you much about it. I just know that they have electrified Kansas City by winning seven. They've allowed two goals so. in seven games. That's a nice little stat. But in other Kansas City sports news, the Chiefs have a big draft next Thursday night, along with the other 29, thir oh, 31 NFL franchises. And uh, there's been a big debate on who they should take. Texas A&M's Ryan Tannehill, uh, Boston College's Luke Kuechly, uh, Memphis's Don Terry Poe, who wins the Best Name Award, in my opinion. Uh, I think I like... Luke Quetchley. I think that's who we should go with. I don't know if you've looked into the matter at all. or I haven't even think. checked into it, honestly. It's not, I mean, in my opinion, it's not football season. Sports expert. Right? So, yeah, I'm not. I mean, in season, I'm a sports expert. But I don't, I don't think it's football season. I mean, I've been focused on the Royals. I've been watching the Royals well, lose. I mean, play, I guess, is, you know, overrating. But um, I, don't, I think, I, could, I can give you some ideas. I don't know any names in particular for this draft. but Anyone but Tannehill. For I me. know that they need a quarterback. I don't want that quarterback because it's too big of a reach at where we're at. You think so? I think so. Why? He's not worth the 11th pick. Well, I don't know who the guy is. I just, I'm just i thinking, I'm saying in general we need a quarterback. I couldn't tell you who it was. We don't need Ryan Tannehill. You don't think so? Where's he from again? Texas a and Anywho, that'll be next Thursday. Second and third rounds are Friday. The rest of the draft concludes on Saturday. And, John, now we shift our focus to South Sports where today the baseball team moves on in the Northland Invitational Tournament. Mm -hmm. And where are they going tonight? They're going to Kearney, and I think they're going to do really well. They might not be Kearney, because Kearney, anyone right. who lives around here knows Kearney's just awesome. At Always great. At every sport they ever play. It's unfair. But they, they're they a good team, and but Parker South, ha they haven't lost, they haven't really won in a while, but Parker South is playing well. They're getting the sticks, because they're kind of like the Royals. They're getting the sticks going, they haven't been able to drive them in. And it's frustrating to watch them, because they can, they, they're getting the potential, but they're going to do it. I think they'll do well in this tournament. We'll hope so. They took Staley into extra innings. They lost to Staley. But last, I mean, Staley. Beat Platt County 12-2. Yeah, I'm, I think they'll be 
I think they're starting to kind of finally come around, finally get the sticks going, young team. So it will be nice to see them win. I think we'll do very well. In other South Sports news, the track team has a home meet tonight at uh, 4 o'clock, which actually is at Park Hill South, I do believe, not at District Stadium. So if anyone wants to go out to that, check that out. And, uh, John, I, I kind of lost a bet this month, didn't I? You lost a bet to, what is it, a girl? I did. I lost, I lost a sports bet. Oh, to a girl. Yeah. Like, that's so embarrassing, dude. <laughs> it came down to the championship game in our March Madness brackets, and I have to give a shout-out to Hallie Ponick. Who actually is watching us from the window. She, you can't see that, yeah, but yeah. I mean, she's, she's... She's laughing. She has no idea what we're saying. Anywho, uh, Hallie beat me, came down to the national championship, but uh, I would rather lose the $5 than have Kansas win that national title, so... I'm, uh, I'm fine with that loss, but uh, congrats to Hallie. Had to throw that in there. And, uh, anywho. I guess that's all we got for this week. We got that last weekend, we only got three leagues left at this point. The countdown is now ticking. We're down to three shows, guys. I guess that's all we got. We have to start the interview process. Anybody want to do it, come talk to me or Danny and say, hey, I want to be a part of the Sports Like the Sports Desk franchise. And we'll make you that. will be so. <laughs> building onto the legacy that is. All right. Well, that's all we have for today. Uh, Southside, sports talk at the sports desk. I'm John Holden. I'm Danny Kerwin. We'll see you next time.